Okay, so let's talk about the order of effects within your patch. I'm going to give you the same stupid example that I've given for years, but it's true. Does it matter where, what order I place my effects in? Is it, is a distortion followed by reverb the same thing as a reverb followed by distortion? Well, I'll put it to you this way. Does it matter whether you put frosting on top of a cake after you mix and bake it or before? Obviously, if you mix the frosting in with a batter, then you're going to have a very different result than if you place your frosting on after the mixing and baking. This is a stupid example, I understand it, but I find it just helps me illustrate the differences. Follow me. Let me exit all the way to the top so we're in the same place. Same place we were before, master pedal effects, only this time we'll go all the way to the end. It's the second to last section, a selection which is effects chain. I'll press enter. Okay, we can see that the source of the signal is the guitar and it goes through all of these guys until it gets to the outputs at the other end. Now the order of these effects have been made for you for the most part, but you can change the order by selecting any one of these guys using the cursor keys. And then once you select, like in this case is the chorus, then the value dial will move that either later or earlier in the chain here. You can even select an effect by simply pressing its button on the front. Say if you wanted to move the EQ, I just press EQ and it jumps straight to EQ. And I could say move that earlier on in the chain if you like. By the way, any effects that are in reverse print like this, they are active. These guys here are not active. You can drop them in by toggling their button, uh, say overdrive. In fact, that's out of, out of screen. Let's just look at say reverb. Where's reverb? Right at the end. If you press that, you can see that drops it in and out. Another way to do that is just simply pressing enter. There are many opinions uh, about what order effects should be in, but a few to consider would be placing your wah early on in your chain followed by the, the distortion types, and then with the icing effects, what I call icing, like the delays, chorus, and so on, I would place a volume pedal right at the end. Imagine putting and placing a volume pedal early on before the compressor, then any volume change you made would be compressed by the compressor. Look. There are a bunch of different opinions on this matter and my advice would be just to Google guitar effects order and see some opinions and experiment on your own. But like I said, if you use the Easy Tone Wizard in the GT10, a lot of these decisions uh, will be made for you. But on the flip side, some of the most creative sounds have always come from guys uh, breaking the rules. So experiment away. You, I mean, you can't break anything. Well, before we go into the guts of all of these effects, in more detail, let's finish this section by...